All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday. You guys decided Gimmick Puppets. Okay, you know, I never really played Gimmick Puppets before, but I, I think I got the general gist of it. You know, doing some like it plays, maybe go for an FTK, uh, rank up and do some powerful plays. So I actually threw in some Kaijus in here because they actually have synergy with the deck, and I like the power of Kaijus is the rank eight shenanigans if need be. So um, I don't think this hand's terrible. Let me see. I'm trying to think, like, is this hand bad? It's not great, it's not fantastic, it's a little slow. Like, uh, once you're trying to target one gimmick puppet and it increases cards, becomes a level that gimmick puppet. So I guess I could do this and this and then increase this card's level up to four and then do a rank four play. That wouldn't be terrible with the, with the Humpty Dumpty, but eh. Anyway, you like the title, <laughs> what should I say? Um, I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. I'm gonna go for uh, the trying to enter in um, the next great YouTuber season forward, but I'm the mission video. I'm trying to think about what to say, you know. There's so many things I could talk about, and we gotta squeeze it down to a four minute video. It's gonna be fucking ripped. You know what else is gonna be ripped? This duel, because I already know the power of this. Like, I was hoping that you gotta vote for speedroids, because with the wind prince switches and the speedroids, like, this deck is ridiculous. Like, you just bust out a crystal meth, and then of course, this card's like, hey, that wind monster can't reach a card effect, so I can't even just throw my fucking Regeki at your crystal meth. Like, I'm gonna get it. Like, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> like, this was already stupid, and then you make this, like, oh my god, like, this, this is about to be bad. Like, this is about to be bad, people. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to say. There's just so many things that I could talk about and and uh, try to introduce myself, and I, I would I would love your guys' help. I would love your guys' help in trying to figure out what I'm going to say. So he already busted out a fucking crystal mess. Like, this will be difficult, and I can get any trade-ins or anything along those lines. Like, uh... I seriously doubt he'll allow me to do my Humpty Dumpty thing. Like, I'm gonna try to do Humpty Dumpty special summon. If he fucks me, then he fucks me. Then I can summon this, then I can target Humpty Dumpty, become a four, then I can go into Utopia, Utopia Lightning, and run over the Crystal Myth. That's the only thing I can do. That's the, like, like, I'm fucking fucked. Like, I need my other Kaiju to actually get use out of this guy so I can get rid of his monster with my Kaiju and special summon my Kaiju, it'd be a level eight. Then I could summon Humpty Dumpty to special summon my, or I could just normal summon Gear Changer, he would go update, and I could do a rank eight play, but I'm drawn to any fucking, uh, I do. You know, I'm just gonna take it slow. Maybe, maybe take it slow and see. You know what? Fuck it. I was, I was thinking. I was thinking. Maybe fuck it. Like if he just stops my Humpty Dumpty now, it's questionable. If he's, if he's, he's gonna let me get it. If he's gonna allow me to get it, then I'm just gonna summon Scissor Arms, which would be not the greatest. But I can summon Scissor Arms and then just go straight into Utopia, Utopia Lightning because I think he, that he might stop this play. You know, but this nothing's gonna activate. You know, so I'll just go Utopia, Utopia Lightning on his ass, and then he'll regret the day that. I'm not running Utopia, Utopia Lightning. I'm regretting the day because I was like, oh, well, we have a ton of other rank eight plays. I totally forgot there's no Utopia, Utopia Lightning in here. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and admit the feet button because I could have swore he was in there. Like, I'm bad for not. <laughs> I was like, Utopia, Utopia Lightning, he's so great. <laughs> can't even go into it because I don't have it because there's so many like you don't even understand people like like almost everything in here is necessary like you run the two spiders with the two spiders because you put this spider on top of your rank 8 to then go into the rank 8 spider run this guy I don't really know why you and this guy I guess because you can go for game like he really can uh you rank him up you rank this up you rank this up to draw more cards this is your main rank 8 play grinder oh like I get I, I'm about to say am I even running like Felgram I'm even running Felgram like like I like, what could I take out for Utopia, Utopia, the Lightning? Like, like that's two cards. Like, I guess maybe I could take out one of you and you, like, you and you, and go in Utopia, Utopia, Lightning? Like, rip, 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 rip Aronis. All right, so, I obviously I lose. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that surrender button, and I'm gonna go tweak the deck, put Utopia, Utopia, Lightning in, because just in case that play comes up. All right, bear. All right, that was bad. All right, I took the deck. I put Utopia, Utopia, Lightning in there. That was shit. <laughs> <laughs> my god, I feel like an idiot right now. I really do. I keep drawing my fucking kaiju. If I could draw my other kaiju to go with this kaiju, then that wouldn't be terrible. Because I could just distribute your monster summon a kaiju and I could summon this and it'd be a, a level 8, you know, machine play. I don't even need to do the copy effect. I don't care about that, really. I just want to get the summon. So, I put controls the monster and all monsters you control. I give me covers, especially on this card from your hand. Uh, you know, really can't do anything with that. Really, I can't do anything with this fucking hand. Like, rip. <laughs> I need much. I, yeah, I need to draw on this something. So Sheen Dupe is not terrible, it's just like, what can I do with it? Like, all right. Anyway, I need to figure out what I'm gonna say. Like, definitely one of the aspects of my channel, it seems like quantity over quality, and that's definitely something I would love to fix. I could summon this, so 
Can't be. Oh, never mind. I cannot be special summoned from the dead. So I guess I could summon this, then summon this. I might be able to gain him. Like it really depends on what his set cards are. Knowing my luck, it'll probably be an Icarus attack, but at least his monster will be gone too. So I can summon this, and then I can special summon this. Can't machine do that. Let's just summon that. Then I can have this copy the level of that. Then I can actually just go into my gimmick puppet of strings, then put a counter on you, then rank up, then summon my rank up version of it, blow you up, and I believe attack for game? I want to say that's actually what how it goes down. If not, then I guess I'll just do a shit ton of damage if I get away with this play. Like, I, I seriously doubt it's just <laughs> Like, if, if I get away with this play, then, then I have no idea what your fucking sets are, so then go ahead and rank up. <laughs> I bet Omega Chaos loves that, so then go ahead and rank up into this. But I can't rank up into the other ones. Oh, at least I got that. So, zoo, destroy all monsters with string counters if you do. Draw one card and foot damage. Okay, that's really good. So, Omega, what was the point of running this guy? How do I go into him? Do I, oh, do I rank up off of my rank up? No, he's also rank nine. Oh, I'm only allowed to summon gimmick puppets this turn. That's right, that's right, right? Right, and I locked down to only gimmick puppets this turn. Level becomes it, and then you. Do you say I can only special summon gimmick puppets? No, no, you don't either. Hmm. Hmm, I need to learn this deck. At least I got my interrupted uh, slumber, so at least that's decent. Like, overall, that wasn't terrible. And then I could just go into my spider, and then go into my spider. I think that would be a safer play than just leaving this on the field. I think then going into my spider into my spider would be fine. So I believe this is going to gain, like, a shit ton of attack. So when this card is... When the rank five is... So it's it's called... Extra deck. So during the damage step, I believe I can add this card back to my hand. Give this card back to hand, you can use it. It's effect of it once per duel, though. Okay. So I add it back, so at least I got my rank up card back, so that's cool, but... <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and go into... 7-10s. It's 3,000. If, if that had 4,000, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000. And then uh, if you try to destroy me, then rip. Once a turn, you can touch the two and banish as many special monsters. Your opponent controls, then attach one of them, banish monsters, XC materials. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, overall, we're okay. <laughs> so, I probably want to bring up something about quant you know, the quantity over quality, and that I want I really do want to up my quality. I don't want to change, you know? And that I was in season three, even though most people probably won't remember me. Uh, I drew this card, and this card does like fuck ton nothing when it's in my hand. Like, I need to get it in my graveyard, but there's no way to get it in my graveyard, so rip. Yeah, I, I really got nothing to do. So I guess I'll just go to attack and fuck up your Blackwing. No, it's the one that guy that can't be destroyed. Like, alright. I remember this guy actually fucked me up one duel, so. <laughs> Hopefully, that doesn't end up biting me in the ass, but they do a lot of destruction. Like. I just, the, the really scary thing is the whole, uh, like, Mirror Force, Sonic, Rippling, you know, you know, all them cards. So, I pretty much got this play again. <laughs> you have a special on deck, let's turn, you can one, blah, 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 And it says, if your opponent controls a monster, oh, and all monsters I control are gimmick puppet monsters. They are not. <laughs> and it kind of sucks that, uh, this can't be special on the deck, this would be like a great target to machine do, but no, nope, can't do that. Uh, I got help from Omega Chaos when it comes to this deck, and I, I don't know, I don't get, I don't think I'm doing well right now. Like, I got nothing to do. Like, I have, like, absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> oh, I didn't even, I wasn't paying attention, like, it's a good, to get my jury doll in the graveyard. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> this card in your graveyard, you can banish one of the gimmick puppet and special summon this card from your graveyard. You can only use the spectre and the this card used as a cube troll, can only be used as a gimmick puppet. Wow, now I'm just drawing the shit out of the machine dudes. I'm not even sure if I want machine dupe in this deck. Like, it, it doesn't seem like it's going too hot. So, I guess I can go into my spider and then. This time. I, is this the one where I can pop monsters with defense once per turn? Catch the material and destroy all face up monsters. My opponent controls defense less than you put to this monster. So, I could just pop as much as do that means. Or I could just pop it through my rank up string means. Like, I think I'll go ahead and do that. So. We'll go ahead and activate Jury, we'll banish you, summon you, normal summon you. 
like I'm not sure about the machine dupe. But I'm not sure about the kaijus either. Like the, the kaijus and the, and the machine dupe, like they're, they're just not going too high. So we can go ahead to do my puppet those strings again. It's awesome. And we'll go ahead and detach the exterior. Put a counter on you. Oh, now get a counter on me too. So rip. Then I can just go ahead and rank up. And I will rank up. Top you. Oh. Okay, this is the other one. Oh, they look so similar. Okay, I went into both of them because I'm only running one of each. All right. They look so similar. Like, this looks really similar to this. This is the one that once you're not attaching C material, then draw a card, reveal it, and if it was a monster, inflict 800 to my opponent. That, that's, I mean, that's just straight up plusing right there. Like, that's, that's, that's nice. <laughs> so, reveal is it a monster, you take 800. So, but the sad thing is that I still can't do anything about Well, I guess I can just attack twice. If I get fucked up, then I guess I get fucked up. I really don't care. <laughs> like, that's the sad thing is that I really don't care if I get fucked up. But he sure does have like an ass ton of resources. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be Black Sonic. That's fine. Thought it was gonna be that. And apparently I can't play Uninterrupted Slumber. Even though I should be able to. Unless this card cannot be special summoned by this card can't be special summoned by Interrupted Slumber, then there's no fucking point in me playing this card. Like, like this card, like, I need to fix this deck. Uh, I need to go back under with this deck, because I clearly am fucking it up. So. Uh, Chronicle Chosen Monster, just give me a couple of special on this card from my hand. So I can just go ahead and summon Jury Doll again. No? I mean, I have plenty of gimmick puppets. Like, so I guess I can't play this card, because I guess this card can't be special summoned, so. I thought this card would have synergy as a low weight machine, but. No, but I don't believe they have to be level 8 machines. I think it'd just be any level 8. Yeah, you don't even do anything. <laughs> That's annoying my luck. You'll probably just have yet another fucking Mirror Force. Like, like you might have another Storm Mirror Force, but I believe I could just get rid of it. Like, I could just go to my Spider, then detach, pop you, and then attack over you. You know? Because if you have another Black Sonic, then just rip, you know? So I gotta definitely tweak this deck. So I thought this card would have synergy with the deck because it's level eight machine, but I don't think it has to be machines. I don't think anything, I don't think things, anything restricts me from from only being machines. I'm also not running, um, uh, what's it called? Okay, okay. So I'm thinking that maybe these more like storming <laughs> another more black sonics, but I got around that. So at least it wasn't storming mirror force. Uh, I'm not running the one that the gear spring or whatever because I mean I'm going to insects and fiends and stuff and all that thing shit so rip <laughs> all right uh you know let me go ahead and tweak this deck because I'm fucking it up be right back all right so yeah and if you guys can go ahead and try to help me figure out what I'm gonna say in this two minute video because I, I you know I was in season three I'll bring that up that I want to grow as a channel oh no it's fucking monarchs come on come on and domain monarchs at that, like wow. Like if, if you if you're gonna if you're gonna if you are going to play meta, then in your host message say you are playing meta. Like who wants to play fucking meta? Come on. Like oh yeah, I totally wanna see monarchs. The after worlds. <laughs> Yeah, he hosted, and then he let me walk into that fucking top-tier meta fucking trap. Like, no thank you. No thank you. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, we didn't open up terribly. We didn't open up awesome either. Like, at least I got him and him, so... Got that- Oh my god! Of course, Blue Eyes. Of course. Of course, Blue Eyes. I'm like... I don't want to play against Blue Eyes either. Just meta, 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 meta. Like, everything at Worlds. Worlds literally just had to, I'm recording this day ahead, so it's actually Sunday. And people are just hopping on that deck. Decks that fucking were played at Worlds. You gotta play them, right? Be right back. Yep, from now on, I'm just gonna put Blue Eyes on deck. Unless it's tagged. If it's tagged, then I'm not gonna sit here and wait. But if it's just saying, well, I'm not gonna do it against Blue Eyes. I'm tired of that deck. I see that deck all the fucking time. Like, holy shit, I see that deck so much. Everybody's on that deck. Like, I get it. It's good. It's top tier. But it, you're starting to move into that meta category, and probably soon in this upcoming list, depending on what deck get hit, uh, you'll probably move into the category of straight up meta. So, uh, so this opening hand's not terrible. It's really not. Uh, drew this, so this this kind of sucks because I only play one of this. So I'm thinking about maybe just taking it slow. Like, if he wants to take it slow, I mean, I really got nothing to do. 
I guess I could foolish like this or something like that, but no, no, I'm just gonna take it slow. You're gonna take it slow, I'm gonna take it slow. There's nothing there's nothing to do. <laughs> like this rip. I should, maybe I should play like two of this, maybe two of filler. That way if I draw it, because I drew it I threw it in foolish because these two I want these in the graveyard, but sometimes I won't get my scissors to send it and maybe I don't want to use my normal summon for the send. So if I'm gonna like, run a monster, it's kinda like I'm getting that send and I should just run foolish to send, right? So this is it's equivalent that I'm not using my normal summon. But then there's also times where it's like, well I would prefer to have a gimmick puppet on the field than not, so uh, so it's like, speed rides, speed rides again, alright. Yep, yep, I, I kind of knew that people were going to jump on this deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, speed rides are actually pretty good too. They're really good. I kind of wish I got another month of them. But you guys never voted on speed rides to give me another month, because they got so many new cards since the last time I played them on Daily Duels. Like, right. Yep, there goes half my life points. <laughs> there goes half of my life points. And I believe you only copy gimmick puppets? If I special summon this from my hand, if I can special summon this from my hand, that wouldn't be too terrible. I could play Kaiju Slumber, blow up both our monsters, summon, summon, I could summon this, and then this could summon this, and then I could go into a rank 8 play. That wouldn't be terrible. And then just run over the Kaiju monster I give you. I mean, it ain't shit, but, you know, I seriously took some damage there, so I'm just going to go ahead and do an uninterrupted slumber, pop your monster. I think I get the first, you get the second. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Alright, so then I can summon this, and then... Summon this, and then this. This card's really great because I can just summon any of my monsters. So I can just go ahead and summon you. I can foolish you now, so that, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll just send you. You're done. Uh, this card is an extinguisher. I'll be sent to go as banished instead. Even if I didn't use the effect, uh, that's the thing I'm kind of wondering right now. Uh, what's he playing again? Speed words. I mean, hope hope would be pretty good. This would be pretty good too, because I can think I can do it during. No, it's only during my main phase. I thought it was during your main phase. Nope, it's during, only during my main phase. So, I'll just go ahead and see you two and you. If you try to attack him, I can just deflect the attack over to uh, uh, my uh, Titanic Galaxy. So, that's that's pretty cool. So, I've, I've been seeing a couple of people, a couple of people uploads. I've just been trying to figure out what I'm going to say, uh, how I'm going to do it. Now, I'm probably just going to go ahead and record myself. Okay, uh, I obviously gotta negate that. Like, I have to. Because I don't want you to go instant fusion Norton. Like, whatever else you do, I mean, I guess it can't be any worse than this. Because instant fusion Norton would just be, like, a rip. Because <laughs> yeah. if it's instant fusion, summon Norton. I can't stop Norton. Norton summons something else, and then you would just go into, you know, a uh, rank, rank 4 play. So, rip. Then you got the Terra Top, too. Like, yep. Speed rides, blue eyes. Meta <laughs> monarchs, like this is it's probably just gonna be the same old, same old that we usually see. I'm sitting here trying to play with gimmick puppets, but <laughs> really, like you use your speed recovery, put that back in your extra deck. Like, why? Like, you could have got a plus, you could have got your your red eyed or your bamboo horse. Like, why that back to your extra deck? Like, okay, all right. I mean, of course, these two cards are just a one card, especially Red Eye Dice, is just a one card freaking crystal. Well, clearing, so. Clearing? And you can only summon. Oh, you're gonna drop to four. Okay. And then you're just gonna go into that again? Okay. Oh, shock surprise. Right, right, alright, rip. Rip, never mind, I'm dead. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't get it. And it's like, oh yeah, shock surprise. I forgot people played that, so. Wow. <laughs> I had to negate the insta fusion. I didn't have a choice. I didn't. I didn't have a choice. Oh, that's twice I lost a speed in this video. All right. Oh, get no duel and bear back. So you can like just, just jot down some things. Just be like, you know, talk about this. Talk about this. I think I'm talking about my achievements. How how hard I work. I mean, daily duels 1,000 and Yu-Gi-Oh! Tear Draft. Like I'll probably bring that up. Like, ew. I didn't. I didn't open up well at all. Like. Uh. I mean, I guess I could summon this to summon this to summon this to summon this to go into Gear Guiding X, detach, and then search for the one that's like, oh, uh, if, I think it's like, you can increase this card's level by another level. I guess I could do that. It's probably like my best play. Like, I didn't, I didn't open up that well at all. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go Dumpty to Dumpty to, uh, to, uh, Gear Guiding. Detach, search for... Oh, it's a level 4 machine. I forgot he was a level 4 machine. Well, I was thinking that he was, like, fucking 
Well, no, never mind. I can still search him. I forgot he's level one. So yeah, first you. Then next time I can special summon you. Uh, if I don't want you, no one wants that controller. Game. Oh god damn it! Well, no, no one summon this. Special summon this. Then make this level, and then I can rank up. So we're okay. We're okay. We have plays. It's just not the greatest of plays. <laughs> Nothing good comes from straight up plussing off a pre-prep. <laughs> like, I might be dead. Especially if he's playing like Cyber Angels. Like, I might be dead. Because I don't think you play, just play pure Sephira. You gotta throw Sephira in with Cyber Angels, because Cyber Angels are so good. Like, uh-oh, I might be dead. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You gotta play your uh, Ritual Sanctuary. Awesome field spell. Awesome field spell. Just grab. Yep. Yep, there it is. Gene Angel Ritual. Uh-oh, I'm in, I'm in deep shit. I am in some deep shit. Let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe she doesn't send any back row. Oh no, because Machine Angel Ritual can block from destruction. Oh, rip. Rip. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, I was like, oh, I can go into my, you know, my monster, put the counters on, rank up, you destroy all your monsters, you take that damage, and then I kill you, but no, because you can just block from destruction with Machine Angel Ritual, so. Did you do that? This is just some, it's card is just something you can add. Well, I guess you can add. Doesn't seem like he has the hottest plays right now, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe he'll ritual over this and then get a thousand attack and defense. Oh no, no, no. Looks like he did it backwards. Looks like he wanted to send Ben 10 and then summon Sephira. Like, wait, no. I'm confused. Like, that was the only end result. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll get another duel. Bear back. Alright, we happen to just get the same guy because there's not a lot of people hosting right now, so I guess we could run him back. <laughs> uh, so I'll probably talk about daily duels, talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Sarah Draft League, uh, how, how, how hard working I am. Definitely a hard worker when it comes to my channel. So maybe that will be enough to convince them to join, have me join. Yeah, I, I, th I think that, I mean, I don't want to sound cocky, but I think I, I work hard in comparison to the amount of subs that I have and views. I think maybe I can put more effort into it, and definitely when the channel changes come and plan on doing more effort, I think maybe I could possibly get a green screen, uh, like the increase the editing, because that's, I mean, that's really what you get with daily duels, the editing is really bare minimum. Like, I could probably cut out some of these duels, but then I'll talk about particular things, and I want to cut out what I talk about, you know? Makes sense? Uh, anyway, how's this opening hand? Well, I got Twin Twister, so I can pitch my feeler. I wouldn't, I think he wouldn't, I'm putting him in the graveyard, he's just not really got anything else, like, and... Was to say that I'm gonna twin twister too hard. Uh, I got Dogaran, so I can tribute your shit, but unless I get another kaiju to go with the Dogaran, I really don't have anything. And then uh, I'd have to get another gimmick puppet to special on this. Like, yeah, yeah, moving hand's not too great. Really not. You know, I was actually wondering if I wanted to play back around here. Like, I'm running, I'm running the Solemn Brigade, and I was wondering, I was like, but those these cards can be really cloggy for my plays. Like, this pretty much card is dead. Like, this, dead, this card is pretty much dead. <laughs> Because uh, it doesn't help me in opening play, especially when this deck likes to go second, you know? So I'm wondering if I should just take out like all back row and completely focus on monsters and spells. I don't know. I don't know. But then I guess if you bust out their rank 8 monsters, you at least like to protect them with the Solemn Brigade. Like if there's anything you want, keep them on the field. So if anything, Solemn Brigade is the best Solemn cards, but when you draw them and they're not useful at the time, god, they could be dead. <laughs> this is pretty clear. It's pretty dead right now. So he's gonna go ahead and bust out his uh, bikini. <laughs> So it gains 1,000 attack and defense, that's cool, and then I believe he grabs back during the end phase. I could blow him away, actually. Like, he's gonna get one card back, so that kind of sucks, but... Uh, I'm grab his Machine Angel Ritual back, like, okay. Um, I'm thinking about pitching this. I'm thinking about pitching this. Like, it sucks that this is in my hand, but then I can just summon this, and then it can't pitch to our battle for a little while, so... You know, I'll just get rid of your monster. Like, I think I'd do that. Because I don't think I'm going to get any other fucking, uh... The Jury Doll is probably going to sit there in my hand for a little while, so... I'll go ahead and turn Twister Pop Pop. And I'll just summon a Kaiju over your freaking Dakini. <laughs> That's really all I got. I said, this card might have been good if... If I... If I went first, but I think this deck drone will have to go second. I don't know. MST, sure, because you know, MST negates, so... Alright, then I'm going to hit special on this Kaiju on your side of the field. Too bad I don't have a kaiju to go with my kaiju. So. Probably gonna be taking some damage, but at least I have my uh, one guy who's in the river who can't be destroyed battle, so that's nice. It's just I gotta take damage and summon it, like. You got your machine angel ritual, and you got 
your what card you drew into. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out Feeler. I took out half my life points right there, but at least he can't be destroyed by battle, period. So I just turn into defense mode and see if I can stall out for a while. My warning is still alive. Really, I just need to draw into I, I need to draw into my Humpty Dumpty. If I could draw into my Humpty Dumpty, I could at least do like a rank eight play. Alright. Well, I could just special summon this to my side of the field, right? Because my opponent controls a Kaiju monster. If my opponent controls a Kaiju monster, then I could just go into a rank eight play. Yeah, I could just go into this, into that, into that. Like, yeah, we're okay. We don't got a rank up, but I can just go into my spider. Yeah, I'll just special summon my Kaiju, go to my spider, and then run his ass over. So. Go ahead and go into strings. It does nothing. <laughs> then we'll go into spider number one, who does nothing. <laughs> and then we'll go into big spider. Who will be stronger than your kaiju to run you over, and you're low on resources, so that's nice. <laughs> and I got a 4,000 meter. <laughs> so the kaiju seem like they're... I mean, that, that, that was a fine play. That was a fine play. And like, one of the Mega Chaos, and it's like, yep, yep, run the spider. I mean, run the kaijus. Cool, thank you, Mega Chaos. So, I, I recorded some time, like I said, I, I've been seeing people, what they've been uploading to their, uh, to their channels is, uh, their video, and I've been too impressed. I think I can just go for game. Yeah, because I can just, no, because my opponent has to control a monster. If your opponent controls a monster, no monster, you control a game. Never mind, I can't do that. So, I guess I'll just poke you for 4K. <laughs> like, yeah, this fucking big old 4K spider. <laughs> Like, Seven Sins, I think, definitely helped Game of Puppets. I can't believe we're actually playing Game of Puppets here on Daily Duels, but you guys voted for it. It was like anonymous. An 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 anonymous? I can't say that word. <laughs> anonymous? Anonymous. Like, it was like, I think, 14% of the votes. Like, it was like, definitely Game of Puppets. And then the deck on Wednesday was trying to give in. And then as of right now, I'm recording. The deck on Friday is still not 100, so I'm going to wait until midnight see which decks if i stay up till midnight I'll, I'll wait until as long as i'm up and see what the last deck is for friday i mean they got a while they got a while anyway uh if so you guys can go ahead and help me tell me what what, what what should i bring up what should i talk about you guys know my channel better than me you guys sit here and actually watch my content so um i'm a hard worker i upload pretty much daily um and this is the effort that I put into my channel is the same, uh, even same, or even more effort than I'm um, willing to put into, you know, being part of next uh, next great YouTuber season four. And I know there's a lot of hate on it, and, uh, and I'm kind of wondering if that hate will rub off, that people, will do, especially when it's like comes to viewers. But I think if they're doing voting through a separate system. I don't think it's going to be through likes on videos because the, if it's on likes on videos, they'll probably just get dislikes either because they don't like Nim Nim or they don't like you know the idea or they don't like that. Uh, that uh, Underworld's not doing it. Like, I don't know, there's just a shit ton of dislikes on every single related video when it comes to that. But I, 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 overall, I think it's fine for the community. I still think it's kind of, you know, a little bit of a popularity contest, but they did say that you'll be uh, round by one round, you should be facing uh, people who have similar subs to you, close subs to me. So, uh, you know, at least it's close in that aspect. Now, it's not like I'm just going to face off against someone who has close to 6k and I'm only at like 2 or someone only has like 10 subs versus someone who has like, you know, me, like who probably, I'm not, I'm not saying I would outright beat them, but, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, I probably have more supporters than someone who has 10 subs. I think I at least have more people who like me than 10, so, <laughs> so at least that's how that system would go and how the judges, they can pass on, pass someone to the next round if they like it, so hopefully maybe I can just get the buy, I don't know, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try. So you guys can go ahead and help me out. I'm going to go ahead and write down things that I didn't talk about, write a script, and try to have it be two minutes long, sit there, record myself on the camera, talking to a mic, and see if I can get him into season two. I mean, season two. This isn't season two. This is season four. It's season, season four of next year. You get to season two. You get to draft like, like. <laughs> anyway, and, and how that's going, I don't know. I don't know. Still on hold. Like, it might be even on hold until the channel changes. So I don't know. I still have a lot on my plate still. You know, school is still just a pain in the dick, so. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I'm going to say so one more time and kill myself. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, deck profile for Normal Pendulum, and we will be tagging playing with Mech Ward Despot. So, that should be interesting. I said so. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, people. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.